I hadn't heard from my brother in over three months, which wasn't unusual. Nick tends to disappear for months at a time, not returning my calls, and then he surfaces again as if nothing had happened. I've gotten used to it. I don't blame him, considering the childhood we had. I've read somewhere that siblings with shared traumatic pasts tend to grow apart faster when they're adults. Then, last night at around 3 a.m., he left a voice message. I heard it when I woke up a few hours later. Maya, I hope you're okay. I, I know I haven't been in touch, but I just wanted to let you know. Uh, you may not hear from me again for a while. I don't want you to worry, though. I'm in a spot of trouble, but nothing I can't handle. I'll figure it out. Whatever you do, don't come looking for me. I'll call you when things are right. I know I haven't said this enough, but I... I do love you. Always have. Goodbye, Maya. I must have called him dozens of times, but there was no answer. And then his phone was switched off. I took the next available flight out early next morning. I didn't sleep a wink on the plane. I kept thinking about what kind of trouble he might be in. As soon as I landed, I checked into a motel and then took a cab to the last address I had for him. In the pre-dawn light, the city seemed to grow more decrepit the further in I went, like a thing whose core was growing rotten. I don't know what kind of trouble he's in, but when we were growing up, after Ma died, when it was just the two of us, he'd come to me when he was in real deep and needed saving. And I would save him. I should get this over with quickly. I'll find him, make sure he's okay, then head back. I'm already missing a day at work. Let's see, he should be at apartment 405. Looks like there's a pipe busted up in there. It isn't a good idea to move this scaffold. It looks flimsy. I should just find another way around it. Nope, can't move it. Hello? Huh, where'd they go? There was someone just here. I guess he's either not home or he's sleeping off a drunken binge which would not be entirely surprising. Maybe I should just try to open the door and let myself in. Gosh, what is that smell? There's gotta be a light switch somewhere. Nick? Nick, are you here? How is he living like this? This is terrible. <laughs> right, like this is gonna keep... Nick, are you in there? Are you okay? I guess I should find some other way to get it open.
The first thing I'm going to help him do is clean this I guess I should find some other way to get it. Why can't he get a bed like a normal person? This looks like it could use a cleaning. Looks like he's literally living out of a suitcase. At the he's probably been in this apartment for... Well, there you go. Looks like he's fallen off the way. I sometimes think if he hadn't had that accident, if his best, he was 16, driving. <laughs> Nick had no business being behind the wheel that night. He was drunk out of his mind. Alex was killed on the spot. Nick survived but he could never forgive himself for Alex's death. With Ma gone, I was supposed to be the parent, rein him in. I should have been tougher with him. I messed up there. I guess I neglected him when it mattered. That's on me. I guess I should find some other way to get it open. I guess I should find some other way to... Didn't know he kept this old picture of Ma. This was taken maybe a year before she died, before the cancer started turning her into skin and bones. When Ma got sick, he was eight and I was 15. We watched her waste away and die from cancer. We never knew our father. No kid should have to lose both parents so early. We moved in with Aunt Sheba after that. She mostly left us alone, so I had to pretty much raise him. Or at least I tried. I did the best I could, but hell, I was dealing with my own demons. I guess I made a pretty poor substitute for Ma. What is he doing to himself? Once I find him, I'm gonna have to see about getting him some real food while I'm here. Hello? Nick, are you in there? Quit playing. Jeez. Oh, Hello? Hello? How did this door open? There's gotta be a light switch somewhere. Who unlocked it? Well, at least I know where all his money's going. But where the hell is he? I should check this computer. A USB drive? Let me see if I can find one. This could be it. I could probably use the USB drive I found in that drawer. I could probably use the USB drive I found.
Wait, that file wasn't there before. I'm sure of it. 